The Mazda Miata is a fantastic car. Thanks to its light and balanced chassis, it performs well in numerous types of motorsports events, grip driving, drifting, and yes, even off-roading. <laughs> the one downside to the Miata is that it's small and old. The interior is cramped and outdated, the cup holders are laughable, the audio system sounds like you're listening to a live performance from a mile away, manual locks, no trunk release, no interior lighting, I could go on and on. But to sum it up, the Mazda Miata isn't a great daily driver. Now, a lot of people don't daily drive their Miata, so it's not a huge issue. But the thing is, I do. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of videos with this car. We're going to be making it a better daily driver. There are a lot of things I want to do. I want to upgrade the audio system, get a subwoofer, update the seats a little bit, change out the sitter console with a console that has better cup holders and a bigger storage area. I want to go ahead and reinstall AC in the car so I can drive it during the summer without wanting to die. Get some different interior pieces to make the interior feel nice and new and comfortable instead of old and cheap. And last but not least, I want to install a central locking kit. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're installing this bad boy right here. This is a central locking kit. I just want my old car to have some luxuries like a new car. Simple luxuries like being able to lock and unlock the doors of a button. It shouldn't be too hard of an installation. This is a Miata specific kit. Huge thanks to IL Motorsports all the way from Germany for providing all the parts for this installation and for future installations. If you guys need any Miata parts, I'll have a link in the description down below. Now this is everything that came in the central locking kit. We have our actuators that actually lock and unlock the doors. We have our wiring harness. This is the control module that controls everything right here. These are the key fobs. They're actually really, really nice. They're pretty, they're solid. Our mounting kits do mount the actuators in the Miata doors. Our wiring diagram, which is very, very detailed. Over here we have the stuff for the trunk, another actuator, some more mounting stuff. These instructions are much better and they're in English, which is awesome. They're also in German if you want. We're gonna go ahead and start off by mounting the actuators in the door. Step one, remove the door cards, which have seen better days. The mounting plate goes on like so. This mounting plate goes 55 millimeters from the top of this hole. So that's about 2.1 inches for us Americans. Now we have to drill four holes. So, both of the actuators are now in the doors and they are actuating, they're working. Now what we have to go ahead and do is mount the control unit, which controls everything, and wire it up. 99% of the wiring is, all, is already done. All we have to do is connect a power and ground to this and then connect it to the antenna of the car. Now, I don't have an antenna on the car. I just took it off because I thought it was cool. So I went ahead and bought an antenna from AutoZone, just a cheap little short black one that looks much better than the factory one. Um, so we'll put that in the car, wire it up to the control unit, and then give this a power and a ground. And then all we have to do is run the wiring that the kit comes with. The trunk part of things requires a little bit more wiring, but for now we're just gonna focus on the front doors. Now I'm choosing to mount this control unit underneath the dash, underneath the glove box on the firewall. So like way back in there. Now the nice thing is that this thing actually mounts with just some sticky tape. Some tape goes on the back of here, you push it onto anything you want, and then that's done. So no drilling holes, no nothing. You can just put it wherever you want. is 
completely ran on the passenger side door. I went ahead and uh, fished it through underneath the AC stuff, through the door, through the rubber grommet, and through underneath the speaker to right here. It took a really long time. As you might expect, it is pretty difficult uh, fishing wires through tiny little Miata doors and dashes. And I don't know, it was a pain, it took a while. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the other side and just test everything to make sure it's working uh, before I take the time to run it through the door. Cause I don't wanna have to run it through the door and then like, oh wait, I had to take it all out to fix something, so. Sadly, this doesn't work. None of the adapters that came with this antenna work. I'm just kind of sticking it in there. Hoping it'll work. Cause now I'm gonna have to order something online and that won't get here for another like week. Fits all cars. Yeah, bullshit. Doesn't fit Miatas. Connect this to power. I got the thing in my pocket. What happens if I lock it? Right now the lock button unlocks it and the unlock button locks it. So I'm gonna push unlock, it's locked, push lock, it's unlocked. Hey, I think I fixed it. I can open it, I lock it, can't open it. Unlock that, oh, it's excited. It works. All of the wires are now ran. You can't see them anywhere. Sides in the door, obviously. See, it's good. Lock this baby. Nice. And unlock. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the door panels back together and then we can get to work on the trunk. That's so sick. So now we're working on the trunk. Hopefully it isn't too difficult. The motor is now in. Now all we have to do is do some wiring. As you saw there, the trunk button works. You hold it down for a couple of seconds and then it pops open. It's awesome exactly how we wanted it. Now this central locking system has another really cool feature where it will actually flash the lights. So you hit the lock button, it flashes the lights once. You hit the unlock button, it flashes the lights twice. And you hit the trunk button, it flashes the lights three times. I was a little bit worried about wiring up that system because I didn't know where the wire for the lights would be. I didn't want to spend hours and hours searching through wires to find the right wire. Thankfully, it took me three tries to find the white, the white, the right, the right wire, it's not white. It is a red wire with a black stripe, pretty much the power wire for the daytime running lights. So I actually wired it up into the license plate light wire, because that was the easiest wire to find. And then now, you hit the button and all the daytime running lights flash. I'll show you. Let's go ahead and lock it. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is clean up all the wiring. I wanna hide it behind everything I can. I wanna tape it together so it's like a harness and uh, just make it nice and clean. Close the door, go ahead and lock it. Unlock it. Come back here, pop the trunk. Hey, it's all clean. There we go, my Miata has keyless entry. All I have to do is push a button and the doors are locked and or unlocked. There was a fly on my mic. There was one feature that I didn't actually wire up. There is actually a wire from the control unit that will roll up your windows when you lock it, if you want. 
However, there's a lot of times where I like to lock the car with the windows just slightly rolled down, which isn't really safe, but I don't always want my windows rolled up when it's locked, so that's why I didn't wire up that feature, but that feature is there, so that'd be really cool. You push the lock button, your windows go rolling up. Pretty awesome. Overall, this installation was really easy as thunder roars in the background, even though it's sunny. There was a lot of wires, but not a lot of wiring, meaning most of the wires that come with the kit are already connected and just plug in. All you have to do is provide the thing with a power and a ground and a radio antenna signal. The rest is just running it through a car cleanly, which not too difficult, just kind of time consuming. If you're thinking about installing a keyless entry system onto your car that doesn't have keyless entry, I totally recommend it. Like I said, really simple, really easy, and really cheap. This kit was, I believe, what, 60 euros? It works, it's cheap, it's good quality. Yet again, thank you to IL Motorsports for providing this kit for this install. Let's go drive the car around and use it. Get some groceries or something, I don't know. Do something, daily driver stuff. So that's gonna be it today, guys. Molly now has a keyless entry system, a central locking system. It's a really simple thing to have on a car, but it's also really nice. Don't take it for granted. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. More Miata street car installations coming soon. When it's done, when it's totally done, it's gonna be the ultimate street car. It's gonna have modern luxuries and it's gonna be fast. Right now, it doesn't have any modern luxuries and it's quick, but not fast. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.